Okay, so this is a make the cut classroom tip when it comes to textures on your virtual mat. Hopefully this video will shed some light on the feature that you may not know was available to you. And this feature is called image caching and was first brought to us in version 4.2. So when you bring in a textured image that is 1000 pixels wide by 1000 pixels tall, this may actually bog down your program, which essentially makes it run slower. So you may have noticed that when you move the texture, it turns to a solid color. Now this is Make the Cut's way of telling you that the image caching is turned off and it's trying to save the resources for when you're actually moving the texture. Now if you're the type of person that likes seeing the image as you move it, you can either press the D button while moving, which will give you the full resolution of your texture, but you can see right here, it's not as responsive as the silhouetted pattern. So the second choice that you have would be to actually use the image cache feature. And this feature is tucked away under the help menu under the advanced settings. Simply enable the image caching by marking the checkbox and exit out of the menu. You should see immediately that the textured has become a bit blurry. Now the image caching basically resamples your image to a lower quality on your virtual mat. And when you go to print this, it will restore the image to the original high quality pixels. So to sum it all up, if you use image caching, it helps make the cut better manage the resources and still gives you a visual representation of your textured pattern. The only thing that you sacrifice is the image quality on the virtual mat only and not in printing. Well, that about covers this topic. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like these tutorials, go ahead and leave a comment and subscribe because we're always adding more videos. Thank you.